Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Coast M Fishing. Another different kind of episode. This one is just a basic fish cleaning 101. I have a bowl of mixed fish here. Um, salmon, lane snapper, mangrove snapper. And my wife wants to make a fish broth, so she just pulled out these fish. These fish should have been cleaned when I caught them immediately, but sometimes when you chum late, you just tend to put them in your freezer one time, which is a big no-no. So we go and get to cleaning them now, so we can cook them up shortly. It's the Trini style of cleaning fish. You know, normally Americans, they just fillet and go. This is the Trini style. Make maximum use of the fish. Alright, so the basic tools from any home kitchen. Fork and knife. Well, I'm using my bait knife. And we go and start to clean these fish. Fork, very important, to scale the fish. Knife is to cut up. Oh, we must, might get the kitchen scissors as well. One second. Okay, now we have the three tools. Kitchen scissors, fork, knife. We're going to start to clean these fish. So the first step is to scale your fish using the fork. Now, you should, you should do this outside because the scales could fly. So we're going to put this in the sink. In the sink itself. See why I don't clean fish? With a fork it's very easy. The scales come off quite quickly as you can see. The salmon we caught on the jetty deep south. My bait hook is a little different, barely hooking. And I cast on a little further than us, man. Yeah. A little more fight. Already. Yeah! Nice that one. Much nice that one. Woo! Trash a shark. Bring it Oh, yes! That's the size we want. It's a big one. When he's fishing, I'm very aggressive out there. This is the real size we want. This ah. is the real size. It's about 9, almost 18 inches. 25 you can inch. eat snook master. Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, let me join tree. Zizi, you are four. Zizi, <laughs> Scale one side completely. And you have to always do it in that direction. Yes. From tail to head. All fishes scale. You scale them from tail to head coming. And you want to get all these scales or as much as possible because you don't want to be eating food and eating scales. Sometimes when them fellas clean scaly fish like Snook Master, you be eating scales like crazy after. Try to get the underneath as well. Use any head in your bra? No, I don't like fish head. Okay, so she's not using the head. Um, and a lot of people love the head. So if you use any head, of course, make sure and scale, especially this area right here. On top here as well. There are a lot of scales there. Normally, if you're baking fish, you definitely bake it with the head. Um, the eyes are indicator when it's finished cooking, when it turns completely opaque or white. But for the bra, I think she's leaving it out. Still scaling it to show you guys. So it's completely scaled here. Give it a quick wash. And you can run your hand over it. You don't feel any scales. Let me feel it. Oh. Smooth. Mm. Right? The next step is to cut off the fins. The kitchen says it's actually a pretty good tool for this. It works very good. Tail out. This fin on top, always be careful. But right here because it's most fishes it can give you a good chuck so <laughs> just be careful because it can give you a good stab so what we're going to do we're going to start from this side and cut it up all right so now it's scaled we bring it back we're going to cut all the fins like i said just get under there use these scissors Cut 
for the side fins as well and also you have to fins the bottom now in a lot of fishes this fin right here has a big um, the anal fin has a very sharp sharp um, fin right here for especially for snook and other fish so you have to be very careful the salmon doesn't have it but in other fishes be very careful it could give you a very bad stab so scales gone fins gone next thing you have to do is gut the fish gut any fish you have to start right there's a hole here where he uses to do his business get the knife in there and you're slicing all the way up straight up to the tip of the mouth if you use any head of course this is why I do not clean the fish look at that good stuff in there oh my gosh it's tell this telly fish was frozen fresh because every gill is still very intensely red right so this part right here use your knife or to be safe you can use your scissors this is the harder part just cut it out once that is free, you can basically grip and rip, right? So you try to get a good grip of the, the gills and rip out as much as possible with one go. Boom. Salmon is one of the easiest fish to clean. As you can see, all the guts come out. I usually like to look at the belly, see if there's anything, but this one is empty. See, it's now all the guts is gone. This, the, the finest bits of blood and maybe membranes, you can pass it under the water and wash it out. So I'm not going to do that right now. Alright guys, so now we have a clean fish, all scales gone, all fins gone, and all guts taken care of. She doesn't want the head in it, it's our broth as well, so we're going to slice it up. I brought up the big gun to slice it up, the bubble blade. So how big do you want these slices, ma'am? Yeah, <laughs> ma'am. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Like this? You can cut it a little smaller. A little smaller? Yeah. Like here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. The size or bigger? No, smaller, like, yeah. yeah. That way to break up in the broth. Hmm? It's all how you cook it, honey. Oh, okay, sorry. So the bubble plate goes through the salmon like butter. A lot of people say broth is not the same as our fish head, but I personally do not like to see a fish head at all in my food. So we would leave, we would say goodbye to the fish head. So we have the fish sliced up salmon is a softer fish uh, i would have normally cut the slices bigger but the instruction from the chef is to cut to the size and she knows how to cook it so that's the basic 101 of cleaning a fish salmon is one of the easiest to clean some fish are very difficult like rakando and kroko scales hard fins hard but the same process you have to do you just have to be careful while doing it all right guys so that's just the simple process of cleaning a fish i know a lot of you already know how to clean fish but this for those who are doing it for the first time for those guys those guys those girls want to try it out it's a pretty simple process some fish are harder than others but you have to take your time and do it so thanks for watching this video um, if you have any suggestions for future videos how to fill your fish etc let me know and we'll get it done so thanks for watching keep fishing clean your fish cook it fish on Thank you.